So I've been asked many times if there's any way to install a mini split without using a vacuum pump or putting a vacuum on the system. And yes, there is other options if you don't want to use a vacuum pump. And so I thought I'd go over what those options are and how you can go about doing it. And so first of all, what is the purpose of putting a vacuum on a mini split? Well, it's basically to get rid of anything that doesn't belong inside of the system. When you install a mini split, you're gonna have the indoor unit, you're gonna have the outdoor condenser, and you're gonna have the line set bolted up in between the two. And before you release the refrigerant, which is tied inside of the outdoor unit, there can't be any small particles inside of here, like moisture or even oxygen that all needs to be removed because it can damage the system. Small water particles that are in the air, they can turn to acid and damage the system. So all of this needs to be removed so that the system lasts a long time. And so when you put a vacuum on it, that pulls it all out. And so the most ideal way to install a mini split is to use a vacuum pump and will be the recommended method for most all mini split manufacturers. And so what are some options if you don't want to use a vacuum pump? Well, first of all, there is a thing called a quickie evac line set fleshing kit, which is from Pioneer, which manufactures mini splits and many people use this method and basically to use this line set fleshing kit what you do is you tighten down all your line set connections except for one connection on the high pressure side and then you connect this can to the system on the Schrader valve and then you open up the can to let in the propellant and it'll run through the system and it'll start coming out this high pressure side and this is supposed to blow it all out so this is supposed to blow out all the air any small particles or things like this and so you let it blow out for a short while like five ten seconds or whatever the instructions say and then you bolt on that last connection on the high pressure side. And since that can is still open to pushing into it, it's also going to pressurize everything. So you can test it for any leaks with soap or water. And so that's the basics of what's going on with this quickie back line set fleshing kit. I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But basically that is an option. And this is nothing new. People have been using this for many years. They've been doing the same thing way back in the day with like R11. Now they're using this R152A. Personally, I wouldn't use this method, but many people use it and they've had good results. I'll put a link to it down in the description below if you want to check it out. There's many reviews on it and many of them had really good success with it. And so while I personally wouldn't recommend it, it is an option. And like I said, I'll put links down to it if you want to check that out. And so the second option is going to be to use what is called a quick connect mini split kit. And this is a very good option. And basically what's going on with these quick connect systems is that they come sealed already. So there'll be a seal at the end where you connect it. And that seal is only broken once it's bolted together, which is a very good system. It's very widely used. When done correctly, it's just as good as vacuuming down the system since it is already in a vacuum. The only downside to these quick connect mini split systems is that they usually cost more compared to the other units. And so if that is an issue, then you might want to look at the other options. For example, one of the more popular quick connect mini split systems is the Mr. Cool units. These are very popular with DIY homeowners. And these units work very well when installed. I've installed a few of these and they're still working really good. But like I said, the downside to these type of units is that they're going to cost more compared to other types of units. For example, like Pioneer or Sinville or something like that. But it is another option and they do work well. And I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out. But basically the other option is to use a quick connect mini split system. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give an overview of what you're options are if you want to install a mini split without a vacuum pump. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.